My son, is there anything that can be done to prevent repeated attacks of acute pancreatitis? You know, this would depend on probably why the child had pancreatitis in the first place. So as providers taking care of the children with pancreatitis, yes, we absolutely have to look for all the causes that could cause pancreatitis because there are some causes that once you treat, you could prevent other attacks. For instance, the Goldstone ones, um, if they have a lipid problem, if we found a medication that causes the pancreatitis, maybe removing that medication if possible from the child's medication list and so on. And that usually, if it's the sole cause of the pancreatitis, it could prevent future attacks. What about if no cause has been found? What happens in those circumstances? And this is the tricky one, right? Because it's the unknown. We looked of what we know in the medical literature that could be causing pancreatitis and you don't find a cause. Like we said, in about a third of the cases, we can't find one. So there are studies, at least in adults, that looked at different treatment regimens to see if um, acute recurrent pancreatitis could be less frequent or prevent recurrent attacks or even the pain that could be um, in between attacks. Things like uh, pancreatic enzyme supplementation or antioxidant cocktails or should the child fo follow a low fat diet. And for now, we really follow just the general theme that we don't know that any of these medications is superior to no medication or not necessarily recommending a low-fat diet for children after pancreatitis because that has not been shown to kind of really prevent future attacks yet. So that really does cause some challenge for how we manage or how we try to manage cases of acute recurrent pancreatitis without an obvious cause. Is there anything out there that we're working on? There are studies right now that are looking at reasons of why children get pancreatitis and how we could, as um, the medical professionals, dedicate our attention to study this disease better so that we not only understand it, but hopefully could lead to understanding of what could we do to prevent future attacks or even lead to therapies for pancreatitis in the future. So I think that's really key is to really reassure families that there is hope and that that is really uh, what we're looking at in the future. And that's what we absolutely have to be committed to work on.